Hey guys, it's Chris. From an unclaimed stack of millions found in a Nigerian apartment to the lady who tried to swallow $7,000, here are 11 of the weirdest places money was found. Number 11. The Nigerians Lost Money 43 million US dollars were recently discovered by the Nigerian Anti-Corruption Unit in an upscale apartment in the Nigerian capital of Lagos. There have been a lot of funny accusations circulating online saying that the money had belonged to some Nigerian prince who had been trying to give it away over the phone and through emails, but nobody has been taking the free money. Of course, this is a joke about the spam emails people used to receive in which someone from Nigeria would offer them free cash with no strings. However, this $43 million was not being given away by anyone and was instead the product of corruption and looted funds, most likely by government officials, though no arrests have been made. Nigeria has been struggling with quite a bit of corruption lately, and this particular incident saw huge amounts of dollar bills hidden neatly inside cabinets underneath wood panels inside a bedroom wardrobe. The seizures were credited to a new policy in which whistleblowers can provide information anonymously through a secure portal. If the information they give up leads to the recovery of stolen public funds, the whistleblower is entitled to a small percentage of the recovered money. Maybe someone figured, hey, might as well come clean and get a little piece of that pot instead of going to jail. Nobody knows exactly where the money came from or where it's going next, but hopefully the seizure of money helps to eliminate the rampant corruption in the country. Number 10. Money in the Heels Over $150,000 in cash was recently discovered by customs officials at an airport in Colombia after a Dutch woman arrived from Europe acting rather suspiciously. The money was found hidden inside of her heels. The money had been folded into extremely tight bundles and then fashioned inside four wedge heels in her suitcase. She also had a huge stack of cash inside of her purse. Each package inside her high-heeled shoes contained a bundle of 45,000 euros, which altogether equaled over $150,000. The operation was apparently carried out by immigration professionals to prevent money laundering in Colombia. There weren't any details about who the woman was working for or what happened after she was arrested, but it really makes you wonder just how suspiciously this woman must have been acting for the airport officials to rip apart her shoes. Maybe next time she's smuggling cash into a country, she'll act cool while going through airport security. Number 9. Couch Money Have you ever found loose change in your sofa? It's a fairly normal find, but what about finding tens of thousands of dollars in your couch? A man from Michigan named Howard Kirby bought a used couch from the store for just $35, and what he didn't expect to find was an extra $43,000 hidden in one of the cushions. He was quite shocked upon discovering the wad of cash and decided to do the Good Samaritan thing and report it to the store's manager. After all, he was just looking for a place to sit and watch TV. Kirby was able to find the original owner through store records and when he called the family, he told them, I found something you're going to want back. It turned out that the couch had belonged to the family's grandfather that had passed away just the year before. When they went to pick up the sofa, they thought the big find was going to be some old family pictures so I'm sure they were quite happy to discover the cash instead. Number 8. Cash in the Ceiling When a homeowner decided he was going to remodel his basement, he never imagined he would discover what he did. It was a small metal box tucked inside of the ceiling, wedged between a metal air duct and a wooden beam. He found the box after ripping the ceiling apart, and it appeared to be very old. It had been tied shut with a shoelace and abandoned. Inside the box were old newspaper clippings from the 1950s, with one of the papers dating back to March 25, 1951. The newspaper wasn't the only thing stashed away in the box, though. The homeowner also discovered three bundles of cash wrapped in wax paper. Each bundle contained a few thousand dollars in $20 bills from the 1950s. In the end, this guy ended up walking away with over $15,000 and a collection of rare bills, with some of the oldest dating back to 1928. He had no idea who left the box inside the house, but it did prove to make him a much wealthier man. And then, if you can believe it, the homeowner returned to his renovations and found yet another box, this one with $45,000 in bills stacked away. At this point, I'd probably start tearing down all the walls. I mean, if you were contemplating starting renovations in your basement, this should be a pretty good motivation to get on it right away. You never know what's going to be stashed secretly inside of your ceiling. 
Do you have any theories on why this money was stashed in the ceiling or who could have put it there? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're at it, go ahead and give this video a like and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Number 7. Stinkin' Thinkin' A Florida man has recently become the butt of jokes all across the internet after being charged with stuffing $1,000 in cash into his butt. Patreon Stokes was apparently trying to hide the cash from the cops, and he thought it would be a good idea to wedge all that money into the one spot he assumed they wouldn't look. This happened after he was pulled over by the authorities for speeding. The cops smelled marijuana from inside of the car and decided to carry out a search at which point they found a whole lot of other illegal drugs, including cocaine and heroin. To try and keep his money from falling into the hands of the police, Stokes tried to wedge as much cash as he could up his rectum. But unfortunately for this stinky criminal, he didn't get away with it. According to the New York Daily News, the police saw $20 bills sticking out from his backside and they figured out exactly what he'd done. He was then charged with an extra crime of trying to smuggle contraband into a detention facility. Number 6. A $7,000 Meal In yet another strange story of cash being found where it doesn't belong, doctors recently had to remove 57 $100 bills from a Colombian woman's stomach and intestines after she tried to swallow $7,000 in cash to hide it from her husband. So far as the story goes, the woman desperately wanted to keep the cash away from her husband during a fight that they were having. So she swallowed the $100 bills in tight rolls, thinking she could retrieve the money later. But as you can imagine, this wasn't the greatest idea in human history. Far from it. The bills could have caused some serious damage if she hadn't gone to the hospital and gotten the surgery done. According to the director of surgery at the University Hospital of Santander, the woman had some of the bills pass through her colon, but they were forced to surgically remove the rest of them through her stomach. And if you're wondering why she was so desperate to hide the money from her husband, apparently she'd been saving her money to go on vacation and was afraid that her husband would steal it from her. Sounds like it might be time to part ways if you have to go through so much trouble. Also, I wonder if she had to use the money retrieved to pay for the surgery. What do you think? Number 5. The Bra and Girdle In April of 2014, a Florida woman was just caught carrying roughly $40,000 through customs. She was discovered with the cash hidden in a completely ridiculous place, too. 78-year-old Victoria Farron and her daughter were stopped trying to board a flight to the Philippines from the Detroit Metropolitan Airport. Strangely, it had been the elderly woman who was trying to smuggle the cash through the security at the airport. Customs officials got suspicious and asked to search the old woman's belongings, at which point they discovered $8,000 stashed away in different wallets. The customs officers were really suspicious now, and a search revealed that Victoria had thousands of dollars stashed inside of her blouse, sewn into the straps of her bra, and hidden inside of her girdle. By the time the search was finally over, $40,977 was discovered inside of her various garments. When asked why she had so much money stashed on her person, she told customs officers that she thought it would be safer to carry it herself rather than send it to the Philippines via wire transfer. And even though no charges were placed, ABC News reported that she had her money taken away regardless, as it was apparently labeled as currency forfeitable to the United States, whatever that means exactly. Number 4. Money in the TV A man in Ontario working at a recycling plant recently cracked open the wooden frame of a broken television set from the 80s and to his amazement found $100,000 in Canadian currency hiding inside. The television had apparently been sent to the scrap heap the year before, and its owner didn't even realize that he'd forgotten about $100,000 he'd stashed inside the TV many years earlier. Rather than stuffing the money into his pockets, the worker at the recycling plant informed the authorities of what he'd found. Police were then able to reunite all the lost cash with a man in his late 60s living in a small village of only about 400 people. They were able to do this by tracing banking records from 1985. But what's really crazy is that even when the police arrived at the man's house to inform him that they had his money, he hadn't even known it was missing. The senior had tucked all that cash into an old TV as a secret hiding spot and then forgot all about it. And then just recently, either himself or one of his family members had probably thrown the TV into the trash without knowing it was full of money. In the end, the old miser got his money back and everyone was happy. That was a really nice guy to return that money. Would you have done that? Number 3. The Bad Cop while searching a criminal suspect's house in Abbotsford, British Columbia, a police officer was recently accused of stuffing cash into his sock. 
This is obviously not something that a police officer is supposed to do, and yet he very well could be guilty. The officer had been part of an investigation in which the home of a drug dealer was searched, including storage lockers and a collection of vehicles. About $46,000 was seized, and it was revealed during the trial that there had been hidden cameras inside one of the bedrooms. These very hidden cameras captured what appeared to be a police officer stuffing cash into his socks. This is the one place cash is not supposed to be found inside a cop's socks. However, the officer was never charged with any kind of crime. He testified in court that he simply put the money in his sock as part of a joke. Number 2. A Buried Treasure Matthew and Maria Colonna Manuel had lived on their property for many years and never really paid attention to the rusty metal object sticking out behind some trees in their property. They always assumed it was just a leftover piece of a cable car or maybe an electrical box. It wasn't until years after moving into their property on Staten Island that the couple finally decided to dig up the strange metal object. What they discovered was a safe with $52,000 in cash, along with a heap of gold and diamonds. What a jackpot! But the couple also found a piece of paper with an address that happened to belong to one of their neighbors. And being the good people that they are, they went to this neighbor's house, knocked on the door, and asked if they had ever been robbed. Apparently, they had been robbed. In fact, they'd been burgled the day after Christmas in 2011, and the thieves had gotten away with a safe filled with about $52,000. So apparently the thieves hadn't really gotten very far. They must have dumped the safe by accident in the trees of Matthew and Maria's yard, and then somehow forgotten all about it. Matthew and Maria gave the safe back to their neighbors, who were obviously pretty happy to have all that money back. Matthew said their neighbor started to shake when he told her they'd found her safe on their property. And when asked why they didn't keep all that loot for themselves, Maria said it wasn't even a question, it just wasn't ours. And Matthew added, The reward is karma, good karma. What a lovely sounding couple. Number 1. The Richest Dog A man in Tennessee loved his dog so much that he went beyond normal measures and wrote his dog into his will, leaving this canine $5 million. You expect to find money in someone's will, but you don't expect it to be going to a dog. When Bill Doris died, he left a huge portion of his fortune to his border collie named Lulu. But of course, Lulu wasn't given the $5 million in cash. The dog isn't trotting around with a giant briefcase of money, sorry to disappoint. Instead, the dog was transferred to an official caretaker, and all costs associated with caring for the dog will be reimbursed through the $5 million fund. According to the report in People magazine, Lulu's new owner is looking forward to caring for her new friend and seeing just how close the two of them can get to spending the entire fortune. Of course, only on dog-related things. Thanks for watching. What's the weirdest place you've ever found money? Let me know in the comments and be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.